Hi there, it's Tim, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Varla Eagle 2.0. Now, I have a special spot in my heart for Varla. Varla were one of the very first electric scooter companies to actually send me an electric scooter to review. I can't even tell you how exciting that was for me. I was just blown away. And that was the Varla Eagle 1. This is the Varla Eagle 1 2.0. Since then, they've also sent me a Pro, they've sent me a Pegasus, I'm so excited to actually do this. And the reason why I get to do this is because of people like you who have subscribed to this channel already. Now, whether you subscribed way long ago, back when I got my very first Varla Eagle one, or you've just subscribed today, maybe you haven't done quite yet, and you watch this video and think, yeah, why not? I'll give this guy a sub. I would appreciate it. Let's get started. Very sharp knife. Thank you, Melissa. She replaced the blade for me. Let's open up it up. Alrighty, looks like we've got one, two, three. Let's take a look at these. These are always fun. These are the Varla skid plates. And what do we have inside? We have, oh, nice. Looks like an, a raven or an eagle. Skull, and then the actual Varla logo. That's really nice. Cool, put that aside. Inside you can see everything's nicely foamed. Oh, nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is just lift this, lift the handlebars up, move the foam out of the way. I'm just gonna take a good hold of it and lift it straight out. Also in the bottom of the box is a box. Inside we've got a little eight, number 18 wrench, multi-tool, love these, display, some screws, nuts, bolts, that sort of thing. Owner's manual, one charging brick. And let's get this puppy put together. So I'm gonna flip through the owner's manual and just make sure I know how to put it together. But it looks pretty straightforward to me. This is everything that was inside the box. I missed this, there was a nice light in there as well. So that, and it feels really chunky. Like, I don't know if that's a metal. It, it must be a metal because it feels really strong. And it's got a heat sink at the back, so that must mean the LED on here is quite powerful. Here's the display, tools, extra bolts. I'm gonna put together next. Next up, there are four bolts here that need to be loosened. Then I can put the actual handlebars on. You can use the multi-tool that it comes with. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use an impact, a nice little setting just to get speed up the process. I'm just gonna finger it tight ensure that it's all nicely centered. But I feel something like that, especially from my height, is probably gonna be working well. I'll just tighten everything down now. If I need to loosen it up later on, I can do. Next up, just time to mount the actual display. Just a smaller bit required, centered right on top. It's plastic, so you don't want to wrench it down too tight. Just snug. Now it's just a simple process of connecting the display. Little black one here for top. Just line up the uh, the pieces inside. Clicks into place. Same here with the green one. That's connected. And there's one more red one, and that's going to be for the light. We're going to do that next. So the light, I'm going to connect it next, but I'm just going to take the bolt that's already on here off. Undo the nut, slide the bolt out, put the uh, light in, tighten up the nut on the other side, and then connect the two pieces together. And the included number 13 wrench to tighten up the bolt. We have a couple of NFC tags. I'll keep one with the scooter and the other one I'll put with the uh, actual manual and keep that in safe for safekeeping in case it stops working. Time to turn it on. Power on. NFC. Oh, looks like it's got 95% charged up. I'm going to scroll through here. Five different levels and let's turn the light on. Wow. That's actually really strong. So Jamie and I are actually gonna go out tomorrow and do a full review of the Varla Eagle One Mark II. But I can tell already there are a bunch of things about this that are quite extraordinary. Uh, obviously the battery is bigger. It looks like it's gonna be like a 20, 20 something amp hour battery if memory serves me. The blue accents are quite nice. It feels really quite robust. And what I mean by that is it just, 
like the way it's being put together, this back plate is metal. The stem is really strong and metal. It's got dual ports here for charging right up on top. Uh, it just, it feels really strong and sturdy. So I'm really excited to see what's the Varla Eagle One Mark II gonna be like in a full review. Big guy review coming up soon.